Welcome to the Macomb Group's educational series on actuated valve assemblies. In this video, we will take a manual ball valve and automate it by adding a pneumatic quarter turn rack and pinion actuator. With the ball valve securely mounted in the vise, the first step is to mount the actuator mounting bracket. This is bolted down through the mounting bracket into the threaded holes in the ball valve. Four bolts with lock washers are used to hold down the mounting bracket. Notice the multiple ISO mounting patterns in the bracket. A single bracket can handle the mounting of different size actuators. Next, the square drive coupling is placed over the ball valve drive shaft. The actuator is then fitted over the other end of the drive coupling. With the actuator fitted over the coupling, four additional bolts with lock washers are used to mount the actuator to the bracket. All eight mounting bolts are tightened while constantly checking the actuator for a binding condition. The ball valve with actuator assembly is then tested to make sure a smooth rotation is achieved. Next, the screw in the actuator's indicator mechanism is removed. Four studs are placed into the threaded holes in the top of the actuator for the mounting of the indicator limit switch box. The mounting bracket for the indicator limit switch box is placed over the studs and securely mounted using washers and nuts. The shaft of the limit switch box is fitted through the bracket and down into the top portion of the actuator. The nuts are then securely tightened. The indicator limit switch top is removed, exposing the two micro switches that provide a control signal for the two valve positions. Spring loaded cams on the indicator drive shaft are adjusted so they trip the micro switch at the precise time the valve is in the fully opened and closed position. The valve is again actuated to make sure the micro switches are properly adjusted. The indicator limit switch top is replaced and the four screws tightened down. Another valve actuation takes place to make sure the visual indicator is working properly. Notice the two larger port holes and four smaller threaded holes in the side of the actuator for the mounting of the solenoid valve. Two captive screws in the solenoid valve are tightened and an air fitting is attached along with a compressed air line. The mating electrical connector is attached to the solenoid that will send a control signal to actuate the valve. 
The actuated valve assembly in its completed state is tested one final time to make sure all components are functioning properly. Thank you for joining us in this video on actuated valve assemblies. Please contact the Macomb Group for all of your pipe, valve fitting, and instrumentation needs.